Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today I thought I would bring you guys along to paint this one with me. Supposedly, this piece was in Breaking Bad, the New Mexico TV show. Not sure if you're familiar with that. If you can find it in one of those episodes, you gotta let me know. Here we go. I wanted to give my paint a little bit more texture, so I went over to my miter saw, got off the little uh, sawdust bag, and poured some into a cup. We're going to use that to mix into our paint. So every color that I'm going to use, I'm going to take some of the paint, put it in there, a little bit of water, put it in there, add some sawdust, and stir it up. You can make it any consistency you want. Mine turned out to be kind of like a, I don't know, like a cream, a thicker than a cream kind of consistency. I'm going to use a few different colors of paint by DIY today. We are going to start out with Hey Sailor and our Klingon S50. I have to admit that I really didn't know exactly where I was going or what look exactly I was going for. All I knew was that I wanted to use a lot of different colors, do some blending, and um, challenge myself a bit. Just like this have so much detail on them that you really just need to keep working it to get inside all those little groovy dudes inside all of those cool moldings. It's very rare that I use separate brushes for different colors of paint, but today that's exactly what I'm going to do. So now I have out my R14 and I'm going to go ahead and start adding in old 57. At this point, I'm not really blending the paint. I'm applying it directly on and kind of trying to keep the colors separate. We'll do a little bit of blending here in a little while. So again, we're using a different brush now and we are putting on some Carnival Red. I mixed all my cups of paint the same way so they all have some sawdust in them and a little bit of water. All right, let's throw in some fire starter. That's the orange there. And you can tell the orange and the red are starting to mix just a little bit. Now that that first coat is dry, it's time to apply a second coat. I'm going to get the second coat on there pretty much in the same fashion I put the first coat on there, but now we're going to pull out our magic misting bottle and start doing a little bit of blending to bring those colors together and make it look more um, flowing, fluid, fluidity. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm right-handed, so I pretty much always have my misting bottle in my left hand. I can give it just a little spritz here and there, helps me to blend, and it's um, just, yeah, it's just the way I do it. My goal was to get everything to blend, but we gotta be careful because, as you know, if you mix red and blue, you're gonna get purple. So I'm going to pull out a different brush again when I'm mixing my red and orange and have a separate brush when I'm mixing my blue and my light green. That way I can try to keep them from getting too much purple. I, I was not going for purple. Nice 
having a good spritz with that mister bottle will help them to blend drip down a little bit. So I have that little towel there because I don't want too much drippies. We don't want it to be a runny piece. Handling this full piece at one time would have just been too much for me. That's why I'm going door by door. Each jar will have a little bit of original look, but hopefully in the end, it'll all kind of flow together. It also helps to keep your paint wet. Um, after you put that first coat on there for this particular look, when I go back and apply the second coat, I want it to stay wet. Trying to manage the entire piece at one time would just be too, too much. We're gonna just keep repeating the same process over and over on these doors as we go. I will try to make that as quick as possible for you guys, um, but yet informative because, well, it's a tutorial after all. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box. Trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just wanna go my Here we go back in blending our two kind of blue colors um, what I did was I kind of rinsed off my brush a little bit squeezed it out really really well so I wouldn't have too much of either color on it when I went back to start blending time I complete a door I kind of cross over a little bit to the door previous that way they blend together So for the top of this, I really didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. I decided to go ahead and give it one coat of old 57 and I did not like that. Next thing that happened is I lost the footage on how I completed the top. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I did after I had that old 57 on there. I didn't like it. So I decided I would go in with uh, Minwax Provincial and that turned it into a very green green, almost like, um, fancy farm girl if you're familiar with that color that was not what i was going for so i went back over that with general finishes black gel stain that was looking a lot better then i sanded the holy heck out of it and that will be the top you see at the end of this while let's go ahead and give the entire body of this a light sanding that's going to distress it for me a little bit and bring out some of that natural wood underneath there It need a little bit more umph, but I didn't want to use black, white, or brown wax. So what I did was cover the entire piece first with DIY's clear wax. Then we're going to do some colored waxing. So I got out my clear wax and my bohemian blue. I wanted to darken up my hay sailor a bit. So bohemian blue was the right choice for that. I'm just going to use a cheap little artist brush that I bought at, I don't know, Walmart and um, get it into the little details. I'm just going to shade it a little bit, make all those carvings pop out a bit more. Now I'm going to use Wise Owl's Patina. It's a glaze and it's a really, really light um, green color. So I'm going to make another wax with that. I'm also going to go lightly over everything I did on my darker colors because you'll be able to see that little bit of sawdust that's in the paint and it just gives it a lot more texture and depth. That is it, guys. I really love the way this one turned out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. You can see that bohemian blue really heightened and lightened and brought out the details here and there along with the patina. There's that top I told you about and that is that. 
Remember, you can get all these products on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com. You guys are awesome. And don't forget, only you can make it happen.